Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I get asked a lot, how do we make a two-in-one shampoo conditioner? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put one together, as well as where you would make adjustments if you want it to have a stronger cleansing or a stronger conditioning effect. Before we get started, I do wanna point out that you should never expect a two-in-one product to perform as well as either a single shampoo or single conditioner would. The reason for this is we are basically putting conditioning and cleansing agents together. So if you need a really strong clean, you're always going to need a shampoo product as a standalone product. Or if you wanted really strong conditioning, for example, for really dry, damaged hair or really frizzy hair, then you should be using a single conditioner product. A two-in-one shampoo conditioner is perfect for those with shorter, normal type hair that are looking for a very convenient product to make the steps simple. But if you have more challenging hair types, really oily hair or really dry hair, then you would be better off using an individual shampoo and conditioner combination rather than trying to achieve what they can do with one individual product. And as I go through how to put this product together, you'll understand why. So let me show you the product and how we put them together. This is the product we're going to be making here. As you can see, it's a beautiful creamy looking product. That's actually an important characteristic so that your consumer perceives a nice conditioning benefit from the product, but it also needs to foam well. So now how do we put these products together? And of course you can contact us for the full formulation details. Now I have here water with some glycerin present. The glycerin obviously is a humectant, but it also helps give a denser foam. Now when you're making a two-in-one product, the foaming profile is really important. It needs to be quite a creamy, dense foam rather than a big open foam. A big open foam implies to a consumer that it's giving a really deep cleanse, whereas a creamy, dense foam goes with the conditioning aspects of a two-in-one conditioner product. Now to this, I'm going to add our first conditioning agent. This is Guar Hydroxypropyl Trimonium Chloride. I'm using Enhance 3196 by Ashland, but any Guar Hydroxypropyl Trimonium Chloride will give you some conditioning performance. Now I am using a higher than normal quantity, higher than I would use in a regular shampoo, because I need this to deposit on the hair. Now this is one of the first materials that you can either increase or decrease to increase or decrease the conditioning benefits of the formula. I'm just going to acidify this slightly so that it hydrates effectively and you can see it turns straight away into more of a gel. It is important at this early stage that I remind you that anionic surfactants are not compatible with cationic surfactants or emulsifiers. So for example, your anionic surfactants are not compatible with your behentramonium chlorides, your behentramonium methosulfates, or other cationic emulsifying agents. But they are very compatible with your cationic polymers, like your guar hydroxypropyl trimonium chloride and your polyquaternium agents, both of which you'll see me use in this formulation. So now to this, I'm going to add some satyral alcohol. This is going to help me build viscosity, but also give that creamy appearance to the finished product. Being that it's a non-ionic emulsifier, it also adds extra mildness to the formula. Now to this, I'm going to add some Isolux Ultra Mild. Now this is making my life easy, this material, because it's got a combination of anionic and amphoteric surfactants and super fatting agents, all in the one material. You can of course use individual anionic and amphoteric surfactants and your super fatting agents if you wanted to choose different materials, but this just makes it super easy.
Now you should always use a combination of anionic and amphoteric surfactants, especially in this type of product and some super fatting agents. But just remember your total combined input should be half or slightly less than half what you would use in a regular individual shampoo formula. The reason for this is we don't want that really strong clean because if you have that really strong clean, you're going to wash all of your conditioning agents straight away with the rinse. So you wanna halve the cleansing power, which is why these types of products really suit your shorter or normal hair types rather than those that are excessively oily or excessively dry. So remember, if you use a different combination of surfactants to at least halve them or use slightly half your regular input, otherwise it's just too cleansing for a two-in-one product. Now to this, I'm going to add hydrolyzed rice protein. I'm also adding some glycerin-based extract, my preservative, some fragrance, and here I have a little bit of vitamin B5 and a polyquaternium agent. Now the polyquaternium agent is again really important in this product type. It's providing a lot of the conditioning benefits even when the product is washed from the hair. So my conditioning aspects are coming from my Gua Hydroxypropyl Trimonium Chloride and this polyquaternium material. Again, if you wanted a slightly more conditioning product from your two-in-one, you would add a little more of these conditioning materials. If you wanted a slightly less conditioning performance, you would add a little less than these or slightly increase your surfactant component. Now we check and adjust pH. The pH of a two-in-one product is another really important aspect. We want it to be a lower pH than a regular shampoo, around a pH of 4.8 to 5. And this is so that we get good deposition of those cationic polymers onto the hair to give a lasting conditioning feel. And here you have your two-in-one shampoo conditioner. Now don't worry, on the day you make it, it will be a slightly lower viscosity. By the next day, the viscosity will increase so you've got a beautifully creamy, foaming product. Well, there you go. That's how to make a two-in-one shampoo conditioner with important formulation aspects and what to change to make it just right for your target consumer. Remember, you can contact us to get a copy of all of our free formulas and reports. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please have any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.